Great, and with that, we are ready to see Space Colonizer run Jaws any percent. So whenever you're ready, Space Colonizer, you are ready to take it away. Thank you. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for supporting this awesome cause. Uh, so I'm going to be running Jaws any percent for you today. Um, it is a heavily scripted run in terms of RNG manipulation. I hope I can show a, a full executed script today, um, but uh, that's pretty tough to do, so I'll, I'll get into a no reset mode at some point. Uh, I'm going to be mostly focused on the run. I'll chime in with some comments here and there, but luckily I have Billick and the current world record holder, Zero the 14th, here to sort of explain the basics of the run as I'm doing it. and and lend some commentary. So introduce yourselves, guys, and I'll get started on the runs. Yeah, I'm Billick. I run this game not nearly as well as Space and Zero, but uh, this should be an interesting run. We've got <coughs> a route that was completely created by Space Colonizer. Uh, the any percent category has been pretty much completely uh, rerouted by space. Maybe Zero can go ahead and give an explanation yeah. of well, how what this run works. What he's doing there is you're actually taking an intentional death to avoid a bonus scene. We don't want to get the bonus scene that eats up quite a bit of extra time. And you'll kind of see how he's doing this little wiggly thing with his boat. We call that a shimmy. What you're doing there is you're quickly re-entering a tile, and that'll use up another RNG value faster than just kind of going back and forth. And the big thing that those do is it manipulates how Jaws moves off screen. We're not only trying to manipulate the drops by having the diver in specific sections in the underworld, we're also trying to make sure Jaws is in the right place. Like right here, you'll see him doing two shimmies. They have to combine to 14 frames or less. And if they're not 14 frames or less, then you see Jaws fins, you know that they were a little slow and you have to go back. It's incredibly difficult to try to get this run, to try to get a scripted run in. Yeah, as soon as you deviate just a little bit from the, uh, the script, uh, the RNG is going to be all a lot of back and mm -hmm. then we'll have to reset. Yes, like here you'll see he's stopping in certain spots, pausing in different areas, that's all to minute, make sure you're getting the right jellyfish, the right stingray, and if you're a little off, you won't get a shell drop that you need, you won't get a crab drop that you need. Like, everything has, it's not frame perfect, but it's really close. And like, there, he did a little delay. What that, why, the reason he stopped there is because that delay lets Jaws bounce off of a wall, and that uses up an RNG value that would have triggered an encounter if he kept going. So it's like everything that he's doing is just to use up those little RNG values and try to stay on script. And he's going to need a total of 13 shells to be able to uh, complete the game in a timely fashion. Those are used to upgrade the boat to power level 3. Okay, so we're, we're off really script right now, by the way. I almost got it. I was really right close to the end of the second encounter there. So now I have to do a third encounter, which normally we would be able to skip. If I were following the script, but just for the sake of getting a Jaws kill for everybody in the audience, we're gonna we're gonna continue this run as a no reset, and uh, and then if we have time, we'll we'll try some more scripted attempts afterwards. Now, how the underworld works is it'll actually spawn 24 different entities, like stingrays and jellyfish, and after the 24th is dead, that's when the round ends. And what you're seeing is the bonus scene now. This It takes a while to go through, so nice five in a row there. Very well done. It's making this look easy. Yeah, and the world record uh, actually skips this bonus scene. As you can see, this takes a really long time to get through this. Yes. And that, that's the reason we take the death. Perfect. The, the 30 story. for 30. We I did not get enough points to unlock the submarine. We don't, we don't use the submarine in any percent uh, anymore. 
And I believe uh, the submarine it, incre it doubles your attack power and gives you an extra hit, if I remember right. Exactly. It used to be that in any percent runs, we, we went for the... Uh, we went for the... Oh, we, oops. Um, I didn't want to split there, but I guess it kind of doesn't matter. Stay away, Jaws. Now, while we're upping, we're upping the power here, each power will double your attack on Jaws. And when you actually get into a fight, you'll notice he's going to be using cannonballs. And the cannonballs also do double damage on Jaws. And then what he's doing here is you can go actually one pixel down, and Jaws will just kind of go over your head and you can still hit him. We're not doing that in this case. The reason you want to go to the bottom is because... The, like the stingrays will spawn at roughly your depth and they keep going back and forth up across the screen and they won't despawn until they get to the top so as long as you're sitting there near the bottom it'll take a lot longer and they won't use up that 24 spawns oh, and you have no. a lot more time oh got cornered oh wow <laughs> I was sudden. I was shooting the wrong direction, so Jaws wasn't slowing down as much as I was expecting him to. And then he tagged me. Oh man, that happens though. The Jaws fight isn't scripted, but it's still incredibly difficult to get everything down. So you're going through the first encounter again. We can call the death encounter. There we go. Yeah, Four I wasn't shells, able to crab. do the one pixel down trick during that that fight because um, normally when we're doing that, it's it's because we have a certain spawn pattern. Right, I'm just gonna. Jaws is gonna Those show up. Those look great. I don't know what the game is doing there. Yeah, I have to just play this. I have to, like, deal with Jaws being there. Yeah, having Jaws underwater in, a, in the shallows is really, really rough. Because you just, you don't have any room to get around him. There's no room down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally if you see Jaws pop up before the final encounter, it's just a reset. <laughs> Yeah, it's, if you don't have your two shimmies combined to 14 or less, he'll show up there. I don't know what the... This, it looked like those shimmies were really tight, from what I could see, but apparently the game disagreed. Yeah. I can't... I don't know what's going on with that. They look good on my end, at least. We gotta try to avoid the stingrays, the jellyfish, and still try to get enough shells. Though there's the bonus for that. Yeah, since this is gonna end up being three encounters, I have the bonus. So, mm -hmm. so definitely not really worried about the shells. Yeah. Although you do want five, you do want to have at least five, so that I can afford the receiver in case I don't get my third before the port. Uh, but I did get my third before the port. And then I'm not worried about a, a fourth encounter. There's, there's just with, with the way the RNG table is spread out, you're, you're after your third encounter, it's going to be a long time before you have to deal with a fourth. If you're just trying to farm up and hopefully get a couple more shells. So you can, I, oh, if you whoa, want Jaws to, you can... What? I didn't... His, his fin must have been Jeez. pretty far off screen. He really likes you. Yeah, I know, right? And that should start the bonus scene. 
looks like you have enough points to get a submarine spawn if you get a perfect bonus scene. Thought did cross my mind. So far, so good. Yeah, the submarine is it's a little bit different from the normal diver. It moves quicker, it nice. does more damage, but if you do take a hit, you just turn into your normal diver and lose the submarine. So it basically gives you an extra. Very nice, perfect bonus. So now we're going to have a submarine spawn somewhere on the map. There are four locations uh, that it can spawn in. Okay, there it is. Oh, no, and then Jaws came and got me. Oh. He is All really right. not cooperating this round. just gonna... No, he is not. Let's just... Get through things. Try to kill him. Just... Try to kill the uh, enemies as quickly as possible and get out yeah, of this. Exactly. I should have been counting spots, counting uh, rays and jellyfish. <sighs> oh. <laughs> and they just really want to box you in there. Good first overworld. Yeah, like, the crabs will, they increase your speed, shells are basically the game's currency, and stars are points, but we don't really worry much about points in this. Ah, I'll just... The shimmies look tight. Oh, I'm gonna reset that. I'm not gonna bother with that. We're running out of time here, though. Really sorry. I was hoping to be able to get a run. You can see how precise this run mm -hmm. is to be able to get it all the way through. Even though it's a very short run, there's a lot to do to get all the way yeah. through the run. Basically, the first minute and 45, minute and 50 seconds of the run is just you have to be on that script. And if you deviate even a little bit, then things just kind of snowball. And the shimmies here is just, it's so difficult to try to get those within 14 frames or less. Like, it, to me, those look perfect, and I, I just, I don't know what I'm missing as far as why, though, why the game isn't uh, going with the script there. First encounter, as far as this goes, on the script, it's not too bad. The second encounter is... That's where a lot of people that start learning the game end up stopping, because the second encounter is... It's bad. Trying to figure out where everything's going. The second counter is, I believe, a little more than twice as long as what you're dealing with on the first, because the first one you're skipping a lot of it by taking the intentional death. There we go. I'd say the most common reset point is probably the second shimmies right here. Yeah. Come on, that should be good enough, right? No. They looked fine, but yeah. Jaws is just really interested in trying to get to your boat. You know what, I didn't get that first shimmy there at the beginning. How much time how much more time do I have here? I think we're going up on a last call for a no reset. Okay, let's just, I'll just... 
all right, this will be the last reset, guaranteed, until I die. Okay, never mind, this will be the last reset. <laughs> At least that one was early enough. Come on, at least you gotta get the first shims. Yeah, it's so hard because like you can't but you can buffer the inputs on shimmies, but as you're coming out of port, you can't really see what you're doing as well. Like, it's in a way it's easier to buff for the second in the second overworld shimmies, but they're just so much harder because you have to be so precise to get them both in within that 14 frame window. Jaws is gonna pop up. Let's just... Spam them with cannonballs. No, we're not one, gonna do a power two, one. Because that'll that'll take too long to do a power one. one. <laughs> power one would be terrible. Unless you wanna have an injured hand. We That's do have way a power one category, hit. but yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone, anything can really prepare you for a power one run, that's just... That's, other than, like, maybe getting something iron installed in your hand, just with the, the sheer amount of mashing you have to do. Yeah, and you can see how little damage we're doing to Jaws here. That's the reason why we get level three before we try to mm -hmm. take him on. Okay. Yeah, I think level well. three is... It's, like, Maybe seven or eight. I'm sorry, everybody. That's a <laughs> disappointing uh, marathon performance there. I was really hoping to get uh, at least one finished run, even if it was not fully scripted. And but that that's what happens when you're in a marathon setting with, with a game this precise. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, and it makes it harder. You're trying to come out of the missed rng there so you have to get that jaws encounter which makes it much harder yeah mm -hmm. yeah you're basically you're forced into trying to do jaws there, avoiding him while avoiding everything else and it just it's not easy so i guess that kind of does it <laughs> for jaws all right. Well, thank you very much for the showcase. It looks like it is a punishing run, <laughs> yeah. even for the best of players. I'm sure it's one of those that just just isn't friendly, no matter how good you are at it. Yeah, it's a grind when, when, mm -hmm. when you're running this, for sure.